Amen. Happy New Year's. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful New Year's Day. The Lord woke each and every one of us up, allowed us to come to his house to honor and praise him. So I, can't, I hope you came expecting. I hope you came uh, not expecting to leave at 12 o'clock because uh, God's got something for you today. Yeah. And uh, so you, you might as well just uh, just settle on in. And you might as well just go ahead and take the seat that's off and praise the Lord today. That's, that's right. what we're going to do. We're going to praise God. Yeah. And we're going to magnify his name. And we're going to yeah. honor and glorify his name. Appreciate all the ones that's watching live stream this morning. I want to view this way. Appreciate each and every one here. We're going to open up in prayer. Just welcome his presence. As the Holy Ghost presence is already here this morning. Jesus is already here. We had a wonderful Sunday school lesson. We had a... Uh, just an awesome time, and I, I, I just I just feel God all over this place today. God is here, hallelujah, to reach down and to help you and to touch you. If you don't want to be helped, that's your own business. But praise God, God's here to help you and to bless you today and minister in your life. All you got to do is open up and let it come into your life and change or help or work on whatever needs to be worked on. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for allowing us to be in your house to serve you and honor you. God, you're so good today, and we love you. So good all the time. You woke us up this morning. Allow us to have strength and breath and opportunity and uh, uh, ability to come to your house. Lord, we just ask you to settle over us today, God. Move in the mighty way. Lord, we feel your Holy Ghost anointed. And we feel your Holy Ghost presence this morning, God. Let the Holy Ghost of heaven come down and, and, and fall upon us today, Lord. Reach down and Lord, just settle over this house. Lord, help everyone to experience the anointing, experience the presence, the hallelujah, the Shekinah glory of you coming down, God. Move in the mighty way. Touch every life, every heart, every heart.
okay, okay. You know how when, as a child, when you was a, a child running around outside or got scraped or a, a, we called them boo-boos back then, got a little boo-boo, you would uh, you'd go to mom or dad, grandma or grandpa, someone, and they would uh, and they would kiss it and make it all right. You remember that? Remember those times? Hallelujah. Well, that's what Jesus does all the time. Talking to him, he just makes it all right. He takes care of our boo-boos. He takes care of our problems. He takes care of everything that we give him. And we'll allow him to take care of. He'll do that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Good to have you in the house of the Lord. Appreciate you coming this morning. Appreciate you watching. We're going to take the needs of the church. Good Lord in prayer. Let's remember lost loved ones that they'll be saved before it's too late. Also, keep our children in prayer. God will touch them and bless them, minister in their homes and their families. Also, let's keep our uh, school systems in prayer and our country in prayer. Uh, also, let's keep Brother George in prayer. Lord, keep touching him. Also, continue to keep Brother Danny in prayer. Lord, keep touching his blood pressure, Sister Carolyn. Also, uh, Sister Carolyn's Aunt Linda and, and uh, uh, Cousin Renee. Also, the daughter Danielle and baby Adeline and Kate. Keep them in prayer. God will touch. Continue to minister in their lives and and touching the mighty well. Let's also, as you heard this morning, let's keep uh, Jerry Holwood and his uh, wife in prayer. They're, they're sick this morning. Also, uh, let's keep uh, my mom and dad in prayer. We'll keep remembering them. Lord will touch. Uh, Lord will bless. Also, let's keep uh, uh, Brother Gage in prayer. Lord will keep touching him and blessing him and have everything to be okay. Uh, God will minister in his life. Uh, and God will just move in the mighty way. I wonder if you have a request this morning to give in or to the Lord. <coughs> Yes. 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 Sheila Lee, Lord, will touch her hand and wrist and bless her. Any other requests? Yes. Tuesday, um, Kristen has to be in Charlotte for Cage's appointment with the neurosurgeon. So yes. They're going to get to meet the team and then we'll set the date for the surgery. Yesterday, he had a seizure. I called mom in the midst of it. He um, started gasping for air like he just couldn't breathe. I just remember him. Sometimes 
not the musicians, it's not the singers, it's your own fault. You ain't on the firing line, it's your own fault. Hallelujah. I'm going to go down like this morning. I already prayed. Hallelujah. You can log the game all you want to around about Jesus, but I'm going to tell you, he's a soon coming king. Amen. And we better be about his business because if we're not about his business, we're going to be left behind. We've got to get to work. There's work to be done. The Lord blessed us with another year. Yeah. He okay. blessed us with life this morning. You know why? Because he's not done with us yet. Yes, Hallelujah. But if you, we might, we might push him to the edge if we lollygag around and don't do what he wants us to do. We might just uh, not get too many more days. You never know. But if we'll serve him and honor him until he's done with us, we'll still be here. Hallelujah. We'll be praising and magnifying God. Telling others about the love of Jesus. Another year we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ to somebody. Because there's somebody somewhere, somebody's out there that needs to know about Jesus. Amen. And needs to know of his love and his mercy and his saving grace. And needs to know what he went through for them and us. Like Brother George preached this morning in Sunday school. They need to know what he did and what he went through for us. For you and I. Don't forget about our announcements. <clears throat> Don't forget uh, tonight, service six o'clock. Come out and worship the Lord. God's still moving on Sunday nights. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Yes. God's still moving. He's still doing the work. Come on out tonight if you can. Six o'clock. Worship the Lord with us. Guess what? Guess what? Everyone that's here this morning, you can have perfect attendance this year. Because you was here the first service of the year. So you can have perfect attendance if you want to. If you don't want to, that's your business. Hallelujah. And guess what? We even give you a free vacation week. So instead of 52 times, 52 weeks, 51 weeks is what we, is what, no, we don't require. But we could have perfect attendance. That's what it would be. Because God was faithful to us. Yes, right. He is. And he saw us. And he. And you know that. Let me, let me, let me back up and say this. It also goes for those watching live stream this morning too. If you're watching this morning live stream. And you're out because you're cautious of this virus going around. If you're on every time. You can have perfect attendance too. I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to hold it against you. If you're out because of uh, cautious for the virus. Hallelujah. You can have perfect attendance too. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But if people are out and don't turn us on. Knocks them out of perfect attendance. Praise the Lord. If they're not out for cautious reasons. Anyways, God did so much for us that the least we can do is praise Him. He gave us breath in our bodies and we can praise Him honor. Yes, Hallelujah. Today's going to be a different day, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Today's going to be a different day. You, and, uh, you might as well get ready. Praise God. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Don't forget those uh, about tonight's service. Don't forget Tuesday night conference call. Call in and listen, so you can. It's going to be going to the ocean this week. Just keep, uh, keep her in prayer. God will uh, give her the uh, right words to say. Uh, I think she's, Lord's already give her something. Uh, so just uh, uh, just check online or uh, on the phone. Conference call for Tuesday night at 7. Call in. The number's on your bulletin. If you didn't get a bulletin, we've got bulletins out here. Make sure you call on the conference call. Praise the Lord. You don't have to go anywhere. You can sit right at home and you can call in on the conference call. And you can, you can hear devotion and prayer and all that. Never have to leave your house. So it's a wonderful thing. God's blessed us with you. Don't forget Wednesday night service at 7 o'clock. Come on out and worship the Lord with us. A lot of things happening. A lot of things taking place. <clears throat> on the 7th, not this coming Sunday, which will be the 10th, but the 17th Sunday at 5 o'clock, we're going to have a men's and women's meeting. On Sunday, the 17th, 5 o'clock, men's and women's meeting. So it gives you ample time to make arrangements and make plans. Men's and women's meeting on January the 17th at 5 o'clock. Don't forget about that. Also, uh, next week, Monday the 11th, next Monday the 11th, week from tomorrow, we're going to have a choir practice at 7 o'clock. Choir practice at 7 o'clock. If, if you sing in the choir or want to sing in the choir, be here for practice that night on Monday night, September the 11th at 7 o'clock. Praise the Lord. Jesus is coming Sunday. We are not each coming to worship the Lord. I say September. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's see.
Would you like ten or seven to go? Would you change it for seven to go? She's going to be out of town. Nancy would. Scratch that. Nothing on the 11th, nothing on September 11th this year. No. Right here. Uh, nothing on January 11th. But uh, January the uh, uh, 17th. Mama. 17th, 18th. January 18th. Thank you, Captain. All right. Scratch that out. January the 18th. Monday night, January the 18th. Quiet breaks at 7 o'clock. I forgot the suspension will be out. So. Well, we go ahead and We're 16th baby shower, Miss Nikki. One to three, 16th, and then that Sunday, 17th is our men's women's meeting at five that evening, and then on the 18th, that Monday night, is choir practice. Look there, I got all the people. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. God's good. Got a lot of things happening, a lot of things coming up. We'll be getting you uh, some more dates and stuff coming soon. So be uh, be on the fire now. We trust the Lord. Jesus is coming soon. Ready or not, He's coming for church. Coming for people. Is anyone else got a uh, announcement? Cindy just had a birthday. Thank you. Cindy had a birthday. All right. Yeah, yeah, we sing happy birthday. Oh, if you'll notice in the bulletin, you've got anniversaries and uh, <coughs> birthdays for the month of January. So uh, you can look at those and uh, also help uh, help us remember uh, to sing uh, happy birthday so, uh, to, to those. So what we're going to do, we're going to sing happy birthday to uh, Sydney and uh, and everyone that has a birthday in January. Just like have a birthday. <laughs>
This song we're about to sing is going to be dedicated to Miss Emma this morning. And uh, so uh, we're going to worship the Lord with Miss Emma. She's watching this morning. We not her. When I do this part, I'm not gonna be her. I wish she was here with us this morning and be able to sing it. Um, but just listen to it. Listen to the words of it. If you know what sing, stand up and sing with us. Stand up and worship God this morning. Praise him. Praise him like nobody's watching you. Fire to stand up and sing if you want to sing. Help us out. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. We did a song saying, Lord, just impressed me today to do this second song. Worship the Lord today. And I, I believe God's got something for you. In this song, God's calling you. These altars are open. When you hear this song, when you hear this song, just close your eyes and, and praise Him. And if you need to pray, pray. If you want somebody to come pray with you, I'll come pray with you. But we're going we're gonna to sing this song, All My Hope.
said, you know what? He said, my father has hired servants. My father has all the food that the person could want. I can go back and just be a servant, a servant Amen. right now. I can just go back and be a servant. And so the prodigal son began going, you know the scripture, began to go. And the dad looked out and a long ways off and saw him and he ran to him. He grabbed him up and kissed him, loved him, cared for him, just like he had never went away because he had that much love for his son. The prodigal son came home. And you know what? That's exactly what God's wanting to do for people today in this world. He's wanting to have them come, come head in his way, and he'll meet them halfway. He'll meet them halfway. He'll wrap his loving arms around them, and he'll kiss them, and he'll welcome them back into the family or into the family if they've never been saved. And God can move and minister in, in them. But what happens in life, what happens, this is totally different than the message I have. What happens in life? We get too sophisticated, too comfortable, and too set in our ways. Too set in our ways. And so, we, well, as I said before, and I'm, I'm fixed to say it again. <clears throat> People might not like it or they might like it. I don't know. But many times, People, we as Christian children of God, when they're up on the mountain and everything's going good, they've got and, and they've got they've got money in the bank, they've got health, they've got jobs, they've got everything going, everything's looking beautiful for their household, their family, everything about them, everything's looking good. They they, they, they begin to think, you know what, everything's going good, everything's fine. And the first thing or the first one they push out is Jesus. Amen. Every, they get on the mountaintop and they think everything's good, everything's great. I'll get Jesus when I need to get to him. I'll get Jesus. And you know what? I'm afraid Jesus is tired of people crying to him when they hadn't worshipped him and praised him on the mountain. Why do they want to go to him in the valley? Why do they want to ask for help in the valley when they can't praise him on the mountain? And we're living in a church world in a church time where that's happening across the nation as a whole. It's happening across the nation uh, as a whole that people that, that say they love God and say they serve God and they care for God and they're worshiping God uh, and they're doing for God, but uh, when everything's going right and they're on the mountain and everything's hunky-dory, they quit doing godly things. They just do everything they want to do. But then when they get sick or when they get afflicted or when they lose a job or when they do this or do that, the first one they call on is God. Hallelujah. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. It didn't say in the beginning, David created heaven and earth. In the beginning, it didn't say your name created heaven and earth. It said God. God created the heaven and earth. He created everything that there is. And if we can't praise Him when everything is going good, if we can't serve Him and honor Him and be His people when everything's good, how in the world are we going to hold on when the ridicules come and when the ones come to, uh, come to try to destroy us and the enemy comes to attack us and the enemy comes to try to get us down and the enemy tries to come and to, and to harm us and to hurt us? How are we going to stand if we don't stand for him on the mountain? That's right. How are we going to stand when we get down in that valley? Because between our mountains a valley, there's got to be a valley. We're going to go through this. You know what that does? It builds us up. It makes us stronger. Those valleys create testimonies. Hallelujah. Those valleys create what God has done for us and what God will do for us and how God will, will move us and mold us. Those valleys create a testimony we can tell someone else. But how can we have a testimony in the valley if we don't have the testimony on the hill as well, on the mountain as well? Amen. Because you see, God's God. I believe Brother George said this over there, maybe this morning. God's God on the mountain. God's God in the valley. God's God in the car. God's God on your boat, on your golf cart, on your lawnmower. God's still God. No matter what we do or say, God is still God. And I come this morning knowing that I love God. I love God. Hallelujah, I love God. Hallelujah, we've got a new year. Hallelujah, and God's got a good, a good thing that's fixing to happen. That's happening already. I, I, I just, oh, hallelujah. 
God has been blessing us. Amen. All in 2020. As I preach Wednesday night, I won't go back over that message. But even though things look bad and bleak at times, God still brought us through. Yes. We're here today with breath. Every one of you is breathing, right? Okay. If you're not breathing, hold your hand up. <laughs> Everybody's breathing. You know, because God said, I'm sending you there this morning, hallelujah, to get your praise on. To magnify and glorify God. That's why He sent us here this day, so we can leave different than we came in. Hallelujah. You might have come in in the Molly Grubs, and if you leave in the Molly Grubs, that's your own fault and your own Amen. stubbornness. Hallelujah. Because God's here. Oh, He's opening up. Oh, He's opening up something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. 2021. I remember 20 years ago. They said, the world's coming to an end. It was called Y2K. Remember that? In 2021, God still got a use for us. Hallelujah. It ain't over because some man or scientist says it's going to be over. It'll be over when God says it's over. Hallelujah. It'll be finished right. when God says, son, go bring my children home. That's right. That's when it'll be finished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It'll be finished then. And until it's finished, we got work to do. Hallelujah. We got work to do. We can't, we can't work for God and be down in the dumps. We got to work for God and be happy, happy, happy. Hallelujah. You know what? Hallelujah. There's an old saying that says, happy as a mule eating briars, right? Y'all heard that saying before? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we don't need to be no mules because we don't have no mule face religion. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need, we need to be happy as a law. Hallelujah. <laughs> Serving the Lord, honoring his holy name and magnifying him because he's so good that he gave us bread today that we can come and we can start the new year off right. We can start off, hallelujah, receiving from God. God came down today. For you to receive now. God didn't come down just for the people that came to the altars. He came down for you. And his presence is still covering this place right now. In just a little bit, when, I, when God gives me liberty, we're going to pray and everybody's going to get to pray. And you're going you, you, you to feel what I'm talking about. God is desiring his people to man up and to woman up. And say, you know what, 2021? I'm going to be a better Christian than I was in 2020. Amen. I'm going to serve God on the mountain and the valley. Right. And I'm not going to worry about a thing. I'm just going to keep serving God. Because let me tell you, if you keep serving God, you cannot fail. Amen. Right. You cannot fail. As Brother George said this morning, he, he didn't know why. People uh, said something to the effect of, uh, uh, contrary to what some people might believe, he's not perfect. But, you know, I think Sister George thinks Brother George is perfect. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just I was going to say, uh, God didn't call us to be perfect. He called us to be forgiven and on our way to glory. Right. He called us to be workers. Hallelujah. We'll be perfect in His presence. Oh, we're not perfect in man's presence. Man don't want to hear this today. Man don't want to hear about Jesus. Man don't want to hear about Jesus give us another year. Man wants to hear the negative. Wants to hear how bad it's going to be and how bad it is here and how bad it is there. Hallelujah. No matter how bad it is, God's still available. Let me tell you, don't you think for John on the Isle of Patmos it was bad news? Don't you think him being an outcast was bad news? Don't you? Mm, help me, Lord. Hey, talk to God. Hallelujah. I'm just pouring out what is pouring in right now. Hallelujah. On the Isle of Patmos, you would have thought, well, there ain't nothing going on. He's an outcast. Uh, he's by himself. And, you know, he's just out there with just nothing. I mean, you know, there could have been, there could have been other people there. But it was an outcast place. It was a place nobody would choose to go on vacation in the Isle of Patmos. Nobody was choosing. It was an outcast. He was the great put out there. <clears throat> but hallelujah, when it might have felt, looked, and everybody thought it was bleak and ugly and nasty and nobody wanted to be there, hallelujah, guess who showed up? The Spirit of the Lord <laughs> showed him all these things and said, John, you write these things down. And he began to tell about all the things he saw. Hallelujah. And while he was on the Isle of Patmos, he began to write. 
And that's how we have the book of Revelation. We learn and we understand about the coming of the Lord. And we understand what God did. Hallelujah. And we understand about the seven churches. And we understand this because John happened to be on the Isle of Patmos because he was an outcast. Let me tell you, you might feel like an outcast today in society, but don't worry about it. The Spirit of God can get on you and can carry you. That COVID was going to be gone? No. Did I say that cancer was going to be gone? No. I don't have any control over those things. Did I say that rioting was going to be gone? No. Did I say all the crimes and evils of the world is going to be gone? No. But hallelujah, it's going to be greater than last year because God is still with us. God is still with us and God will help us to make it to the end. Until he's done with us, he's going to help us to make it. Hallelujah. And we'll do what we got to do to keep pressing on and keep serving Him. You hear me this morning? I'm telling you, hallelujah. Don't worry about what the media says. Don't worry about what the nation says. Worry about what God says. And if you live true to God's word, you'll make it to a place like that. Hallelujah. Because you see, today is January the 3rd, but January the 4th, we could all this ready be in a place called glory. We don't know. Don't know the dead on the iron, some ain't coming. But I tell you one thing, he is coming. Amen. He is coming. And we've got to be ready. That's right. And his anointing is what's going to make the difference. His anointing. His anointing. Oh, hallelujah. His power. His power and his anointing comes upon each and every one of us to help us with our new year, our new time. Hallelujah. I'm going to say about these two two sentences that's in my message. If the Lord lets me, I'll preach that message tonight, maybe. We're going to pray and I'm going to let you go. I'm going to keep you to one or two. <laughs> but many people start New Year's off with making resolutions or having goals. There's nothing wrong with a goal, nothing wrong with a plan, <clears throat> but sometimes people have those resolutions that are not easily attainable without someone's help. That's right. That's right. Some people set resolutions that they can't control, but there's one that can control. And so instead of setting a resolution or a change of plans, we just need to let God. And when we let God, all these things that we desire, He'll give them to us. Because the, uh, uh, the Bible tells us we have not because we ask not. And He says He'll give us the desires of our heart. Amen? Amen? So if you're wanting something today for this new year, then you need to talk to God. You need to be obedient and faithful and dedicated and committed to God. And He'll be dedicated, committed, and faithful to you. But if we find ourselves unfaithful to God, how can we require Him to be faithful to us? I'm trying. I'm trying, church club. When he was hanging, when Jesus was hanging on Calvary between two thieves. Two, 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 two thieves. That's where Jesus hung. Between the ones that deserved to be there. One of the thieves made fun of Jesus. One of the thieves said, remember me. That's right. he, asked him, he wanted to change. He wanted to change. Jesus was there and helped him change. He said to me, you'll be in paradise. Today, you'll be with me. That's what he told the one thief. <laughs> thief that had done wrong, thief that had been bad. But because you see, even in that dark place, the thief knew that Jesus was the way. In that dark place, Jesus knew that he needed to trust him. The other thief made fun. The other thief, I would say he was in a valley, but he, he thought he knew everything. He thought he, he had pride. Oh, help me, Lord. He had pride. He was, he, was, he was just so proud and didn't want to accept Jesus. And so he ended up in a horrible place because... He wasn't willing to say, you know what? Will you remember me too, Jesus? I'm sorry. He wouldn't do it. It's a sad scenario. A sad situation. But it occurred. And so, if we find ourselves on the mountaintop and too proud to keep serving him, there's a problem because 
there's a problem and, there's, and something we need to take care of with him. Because if we don't, when we're in the valley, he may not show up Amen. just in the time that we need. Yes. He, 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 I'm not saying he won't show up. He'll show up at his time. But he might not show up when we need it in, in our house. Uh, yes. Because if we can't be found faithful over a few things, we can't be made ruler over many. That's right. Amen. That's right. You'll stand with me today. Hallelujah. You just want to hear me. Uh, uh, this was straight from the throne. If you want to hear another message straight from the throne, come back tonight if the Lord will let me preach it. We might have another one just like this. I hope so. I hope we have another. Hallelujah. I, I come, come tonight expecting. Come tonight excited. But we're going to pray. We're going to pray. His presence is still here. I, I know that he's reaching down. And I'm going to ask you, think in your mind, what would make your new year great. What would make your new year great? Then, I want you to begin thanking God for that. Thanking God for that. Now, if it's for sanctification, ask God to sanctify you and thank Him for it already. If it's to be filled with the Holy Ghost, go ahead and thank Him already. You might not feel what you're asking for right now. And it might be, it might be you want two hundred fifty thousand dollars in your bank account. Go ahead and praise him. Go ahead and praise him. He owns cattle on a thousand eagles. How much is that worth? Hallelujah. Another message for another time. So today, what you're wanting or what you're desiring in 2021, I'm not talking about something off the wall. I'm talking about something that God, that you know God will give you if you're obedient to Him. I want you to tell him what it is, and I want you to thank him for it. Tell him what it is, and thank him for it. You don't see it right now. You don't feel it right now. But go ahead and thank him for it anyhow, because 2021 is not about seeing, but it's about believing. Amen. It's not about seeing, it's about believing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And if you'll believe, and you'll go ahead and thank him, hallelujah, things are going to change around your house and around your and around you. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day, loving and praising. Lord, if there's anyone watching or anyone here that's not saved, don't do you as a personal Savior. Lord, please save them before it's too late. Lord, help them to know all they got to do is repent of their sins, ask you in their life, you'll come in and save them and change their life. But God, I come to you right now. And Lord, we all come to you today. Lord, we, Lord, you showed up and showed up. Lord, hallelujah. I know you gave this other message, Lord. Uh, the, the Lord, I, I know. And if you'll allow me, I'll preach it tonight. But God, you poured into me this morning. And, and just to let them know, hallelujah, that all our hope is in you, God. We can't put it in man. We can't put it in the bank. We can't put it in other things. But we can put our hope in you. All of our hope. We put every egg in one basket because you are our hope. And you're what's going to carry us through to the future, Lord. And help us to be obedient. Help us to be dedicated and committed on the mountaintop so that when we're in the valley, we'll still be committed and you'll be right there, Lord, and you'll help us. But Lord, if we fail to hold on to you, if we fail to keep you top of our list for first in our life when we're on the mountain, Lord, Lord, we don't we, we can't blame you when we come crying to you in the valley and you don't show right up then. Because you know what? Lord, we've got to praise you on the mountain just like we've got to praise you in the valley. But God, look at our lives. Search our lives out. Lord, reach down and inventory our lives. And Lord, help help us to get what we need to have in 2021 to be the most effective Christians, the most effective saints, the most effective vessels that you can use for your glory and name. Say, God, we ask you just to move in a mighty way within us, around us, through us, that we can be your people and be that testimony, God. Lord, we thank you for that already. We thank you for giving us what we desire, Lord, this year. Lord, what's going to make 20? Lord, it's within reason what's going to make 2021 better. God, it's going to be more of you, all of you, God, moving in our life, moving in our home. Lord, that's what I want for 2021 more and all of you, God. That's what's going to make this year better, the greatest year that I've ever had. Hallelujah. If when you use me, hallelujah, and then you'll, you'll reach down and you'll mold me every day. And I thank you for it. I thank you for it. And I praise you. And I honor your holy name. I thank you for this today, God. I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for your touch. I thank you for each and every one here today. Lord, I thank you for allowing us to have breath. I thank you for giving us a, a wonderful new year. 2021 is going to be great. It's going to be awesome, God, because you're here and you're with us and you're present. Hallelujah. And you're with us in, in the midst of this tabernacle. God, we love you and we praise you. We ask you to go with each and every one. Keep them safe. Watch over them. 
Help us go forth and do your will. We give you the praise and honor. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And the church said, Amen. 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 Thank you for coming today. Don't forget Jesus loves you. Pastor David loves you as well. God bless each and every one of you. We love you. Have a great day.